Man, Sam, I'm excited to have you on the podcast as a sponsor. We're glad you could join join us today. How's it going? Thanks, motherfucker. I'm doing good. How are you? I see you got all these brews here. Yeah, man. This uh, this is just the haze. Tastes great. Yeah, you got that non-alcoholic. I guess it's too early for you, huh? Yeah, it's a, it's too early for me. Uh, Trayvon is definitely drinking alcoholic beer. Uh, Cole, what do you think? Dude, Sammy, I just want to say, dude, I think you outdid yourself with this non-alcoholic. Yeah, go ahead and take a tug on that, just a haze. <laughs> yeah, Sammy. How'd that treat you? Yeah, it's really good, man. You know what's amazing is you look really good for your age. You're about 210 years old. Yeah, thanks, man. All I do is just keep drinking these brews, and I just keep getting younger. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, uh, one uh, one other thing is that your arms are particularly not small. What's your favorite bicep exercise? Well, I, I like to call them the 12-ounce curls. Sometimes I drink it in a can. Sometimes I drink it out of glass. But either way, I'm getting <laughs> 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 Well, we might have to uh, censor that one, yeah. Sam. But thanks for joining Dude. the show. And uh, any last words? I'll catch you all on the flip side, motherfucker. Keep drinking them Sammy Adams brews, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Roundtable Podcast, I'm your boy Corey G at Small Arms, Danny at Trey Speed, and the graphic gangster himself, Cole Susak. This is an emergency <laughs> special edition podcast that we had to drop immediately because new podcast sponsor, who yeah. dis? New <laughs> podcast sponsor, <laughs> who, is it? who dis? Who is and it? Yep. if you hold your horses okay, for a second, okay. if you would have told me, well, I kind of really didn't go to college, but when I lived at, on campus, <laughs> if you would work for beer, I would sign up for it. And we now, fellas, have a beer sponsor here at the Roundtable Podcast. And I went to Ohio State this weekend and took my Sam Adams cooler and took me yeah. fucking two 12 packs. Yep. <laughs> and it was amazing. And I looked right across at Joe Johnson and said, yeah. Joe Johnson, what'd you tell him? Do you want a free beer? Because we now have a podcast <laughs> sponsor with Samuel Adams beer. Ooh. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Shout cool. out Sam. Sa- yeah. Yeah. Shout out Sammy. He's hanging out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Out. And we're yeah, listen, I'm trying the uh just the haze, which is Sam Adam Sam Adams non alcoholic. It's yeah, nine yeah. in the morning, Trayvon. Yeah, on. <laughs> Trayvon. Trey, I'm an October fest. Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with that, Trey. Yeah. Shout out. And Shout so out. and you could see Cole's got the holsters. He's five deep over here. He's uh uh Jim and oh. Danny's uh, koozie. koozie together. <laughs> 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 I'm a loss for words. But yeah. this is this is exciting because we've been doing the podcast now. Oh, oh cheers, fellas! Frost. Thanks, Sam Adams. <laughs> Appreciate you. One taste. Hell yeah! And I gotta tell you, what's what? amazing is we did a year of just on the app, probably almost two years, right now. Yeah. You know, out here, and obviously Max Ever Muscle has been supporting it the whole time. Now to have Sam Adams support it. I got another one I'm working on. I'm not going to release yet. But fucking, mm-hmm. we're coming up in the world, fellas. Fuck yeah, we are. What, what, yeah. Uh, how do you feel? <laughs> I know how you look, Cole. Yeah. Hey, I mean, how do you feel right now? I love how you're standing right now, yeah. by the way. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> to have the support of a company and a guy like Sam Adams, <laughs> a.k.a. Small Arm Sammy. Yes. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing, you know, the words can't describe how great I feel right now. Yeah, it's pretty good. Trayvon, you got the swim trunks on. I do have some trucks on. They're amazing, yeah. I feel great right now because I've been drinking the Oktoberfest. Yes. Which is amazing. I'm not even a big beer lover, but when, That's it, comes true. To, but when it comes to Sam Adams beer, yeah, I'm here for it. It's Trey, it. I like it. Yep. Daniel? Yeah, I'm an Oktoberfest and Summer Ale fan mm-hmm. and have been to uh, the plant in Boston. And did As a have I. Really? Yeah. So super, I need to go there. It's yeah, cool. super sick. Yeah. And little known fact. Small arm Sammy did have to have custom made sleeves back in the day. Oh, yeah. just that is fact. Yeah. Ooh, custom yeah. wig, custom sleeves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys a Sam Adams story now that we're here around the picnic table okay. uh, indoors. So <laughs> I was at a campus party. I'm about 20, and I'm drinking Ice House, which is fucking terrible, by the way. And I'm is drinking Natural Light. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> and my dude Chunk rolls in. Uh, his name's Todd J. Shout out Todd. What up, Todd? He rolls in and he drops down a six-pack of winter lager by Sam Adams. He goes, Corey, 
have you ever drank a real beer before? I said, chunk, I don't think so. <laughs> Pops me one, gives it to me, changed my life. I've been drinking dark beer, literally, in a snobby way ever since then because I tasted real hops, Danny. Yeah. I, tr- I tasted a real beer. You're a slut for dark beer. I'm a slut for dark beer. Yeah. Now, yeah. I am drinking the non-alcoholic uh, Just the Haze because it's which, 9 a.m. Which, I just want to Which say, is fucking good, ain't it? This is cool. fucking yeah, actually, fantastic. Yeah, so yeah, I'm a really big good. IPA guy. You are a big this IPA. This tastes like fucking legit. Yeah, you're here for it. Yeah, I'm a huge, you know, Just the Haze all fucking day. <laughs> 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 you can literally <laughs> drink <laughs> beer all day. Yeah. yeah. And I talk about being a degenerate and drinking beer during the week, but it's like... You know, you can drink this during the week and probably not be demotivated to go to the gym in the morning. And not small. Yeah. And yeah. not small. You know who yeah. I feel like would absolutely love this? Who's that? Our guy Todd Dunkel. I agree. Because Todd Dunkel would like it. Todd yeah. is yeah. notorious for, you know, having, you know, multiple beers before like a random yes. Thursday weight he, session. But we should flip some of these yeah. and he's duffel back. <laughs> and I also know Todd's a big IPA guy too. He is. This, this no. is fucking awesome. So, yeah. So, this has come full circle. Uh, 20 years ago, I tried my first Sam Adams. You know, and now they're you know supporting the podcast, and I'm with the homies, and we're drinking beer, and I fucking love drinking beer. <laughs> so this is just a big, yeah, this, this is, is a big great. time. What is there not to love about this? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Trey. That's what I'm saying. So it's exciting. Like, make sure that when you go to your local pub, you're going to your grocery store. If you have not tried Sam Adams, the other thing is, is that you know I've always been a big dark beer fan, but they have such a wide range of different beers that you can try. Mm-hmm. Um, and they come out with seasonal beer, so there's something for everybody, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Danny, what uh, what else do you want to talk about with beer? With Anything? beer? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You're fucking small. Well, no. What, what type of beers? Do you, <laughs> what what type of beers do you guys usually yeah. gravitate towards? I, I know you're an IPA guy, yeah. right? I, I'm more probably on the kind of like light and wheat yeah, side yeah. of things. You're light and small. Yeah. Trey was telling me he loves tequila, but no. <laughs> yeah. you know, but the fucking doing... Patron ain't sponsors, so fuck that. No, <laughs> no but he's dipping his toe in with this. Cause... No, I would tell you there's a, there's a, a black lager, a Boston lager, um, a cherry wheat, uh, summer ale. Uh, what's the other one? There's literally like, I think they have like 15 or there's 20 different beers. Yeah. There's a so whole I know, bunch. So I remember when I first turned 21, mm-hmm. I went to the grocery store and – Honestly, like, I wasn't – I didn't know – I'm not that familiar with beer, mm-hmm. so I didn't know exactly what to get. But I saw Sam Adams, yeah. and I would get the variety packs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They do yeah, have yeah, variety yeah, packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I would get the variety packs to taste test, see what I would mm-hmm. like. Yeah. And then I did always find myself going back and getting so, a little bit of Sam Adams. You know what I nice. mean? Have fridge, always have. I forgot to mention that. That is one of the pluses yeah, yeah, that yeah. I, I would try new ones yeah. all the time because of the variety pack. I think yeah. they have a pumpkin one too, don't they? they? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They have a, no, a brand new pumpkin one. It's not the Oktoberfest. One. Yeah, but there we have like it in the pump- fridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. And like you know, when you have visions, excuse me, because I'm drinking beer. When you have visions, I always thought. Are you ready for this, Cole? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> he hasn't sat philosopher. down yet. <laughs> I, you know, I watched the nothing but a G thing video mm. about the same time, and although when they went in the house and they opened up, it was all 40s. As soon as we got this sponsorship, I had a vision of making sure that when you open our fridge at the office, it's all Sam Adams, just like a Dr. Dre video. It just keeps coming back to a rap music. Yes, yes, yeah, Dre. I've <laughs> built my whole life after rap videos, basically. Oh, all right. Let's let's uh, let's cheers, yeah, Sam let's Adams. Cheers again. We're excited. Yeah, this is up. awesome. Sick. Mm. Let's talk about this. What? What does the po- what does podcasting on a weekly basis and in general over these last couple of years? How, how's that? What's that meant to you, Danny? What's it meant to yeah. me? Um, what do you look forward to? What's some of the things like you're excited about? Just you know, just overall. Um, well, I think the the first word that popped in my mind was the accountability piece. Yeah, just because uh, we just know we're doing it. Yeah, we know we're doing it, and then it just like give it like forcibly gives me a chance to like take myself out of the work and like mm-hmm. actually like just chop it up with you guys and have fun with it, um, and to just I don't know talk in a you know less serious setting. I guess it's a, it's a bit of a relief to be honest, yeah. especially with everything that's been going on in the last six months. Everything's been crazy, being pulled a bunch of different ways. We can kind of just like take the car down for a minute and then just just talk as as homies. Yeah, so, I like that. Yeah. How about you, Trayvon? Um, I would say my favorite part about podcasting is the reps. 
Yeah. So like being able to like just have a conversation and have it recorded that like people can hear and stuff because um I mean as you guys know like I'm not like a big talker in general. So like being able to be forced to have the conversation, get it out there, like have people hear it, get familiar with me, like the vulnerability aspect of it. Yeah. I think that's like huge for growth and everything. That was one of the things I was the most excited about about having you on the podcast. Yeah. I knew Danny's awkward, so we need to let him talk. You Shout don't out. very you don't talk very often but got a lot to say and I know that just by knowing you. Cole, I wasn't worried about. <laughs> I knew he'd be just hey, I knew he'd be just fine. But once again, like the reps to when then as you guys are building varsity creative, mm-hmm. you know, Danny's got some other projects going on too. It's like your confidence that grows through yeah, these yeah. reps, it, it, you can't you can't manufacture that. You yeah, have sure, to go yeah. through it. Yeah. That's, That's definitely the other part of it. It's like it just being thrown like I mean, you do it all the time. With, <laughs> yeah, it's my like whole skits and shit <laughs> with with Max over muscle, like I'm forced to like do some sort of acting or skit or something yeah. like that and I like absolutely hated it like at the very beginning then after I'm like well you yeah. just give in yeah <laughs> just oh, you yeah. have to be ready yeah 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 well and I I like the documentation of it right because for me if I learned anything from like early social media is being able to go this sounds funny but it's like a big fu- like Instagram is just like a big fucking scrapbook right before like you had to like had the things that we have now so yeah. to me the pandemic really kind of made, cause it's like we were locking in our thoughts at such a weird time. We're never going to think like that again. Yeah. So yeah. when I go back yeah. to listen to those daily fires or like when us round table yeah. and I'm like, damn, like what, you know what I mean? So I think it is weird. And yeah. so I think having this much documentation and if I think about anybody I look up to that isn't here anymore, it's almost like I wish they would have done more. And so us being like forced in a schedule, not forced, but willingly yeah. scheduling that we're just going to be capturing our lives like this that, sponsorship. Well, going off that too, something you've talked about multiple times is like having something for your kids like later on. 100%. Some reference. And like that's something I've spoke about a little bit with like my uh, – the easiest example is my grandpa. is like he was really, really good at storytelling and stuff. And I'm like, fuck, this would be so awesome if – if that could have literally been captured like yeah. in like little mini episodes or something like that. Well, and think about like you two and maybe not, maybe Cole too might not have a rich or like wanted to do this. You know, I kind of yeah, forced yeah, you yeah. guys to do it because I know you each individually have so much to offer. Mm-hmm. And I always wanted to do this stuff, right? From the first time I put that microphone on, microphone on at Barbell Shrug, I was like, this is fucking me. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But what I take pride in is that there's people I'm around that I know need to be on this stuff that might not want to be initially, mm-hmm. but then they hopefully learn to like yeah. it because they do have a lot to offer. You know what I mean? So, because I don't think it's all the way natural for any of you guys actually, yeah. but you guys have all adapted really well. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Good. Cool. Right, here. Crack check. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> Crack check. There's the hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I would say for me, it's been uh, like the impact of like, you know, one, just interviewing a ton of random people. Yeah. And like in a way that you would never ask the same questions in a normal setting. Hell you no. never get the same responses either. Yeah. Dude. What I realized so early about podcasting is that I'm even with Dustin or guys I've known forever, you're going to have a different pinpointed conversation when you put these on. Uh It's just different because that's what you're there to do. When you're just hanging out, you could have some quality conversations, but it's never going to be that. It's never as deep. Like this is like some real like thought, like you're, you're naturally wanting to express more because you know, it could add value. Yeah. Going off of that too with the guest part is like I know it's made me a better listener in general because then like, I feel like I like ask like better questions. They're yeah. not just like surface level questions or like if we have somebody like, you know, like Matt Brown or some of the West Side guys, yeah. like they've been asked the same questions over oh, and yeah. over and over and over again. So it's like, what can, what else can we ask them that they haven't been asked before that will kind of open up a can of worms? We're getting different stuff out of people for sure. Yeah. yeah. Which Matt we need to have on soon. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. Because of that, we'll I said that because he's yeah. literally in the gym. Yeah, right he's now. like that's literally that's one why, room yeah. over. <laughs> Shout out yeah. that, and also like the the connection you have with like just people on, over the internet. Like just from this yeah. podcast, there's been tons of people that have reached out that always, you know, it's it's really interesting to like get a message from someone you would never even think listens to the podcast, mm-hmm. or like someone that you know personally that you may not have talked to them, but they're like, yo, I really like fuck with yeah. you guys are talking about on the podcast. Yeah. 
That's, that's probably cool. the craziest thing. Is I never understood it either. I can't but, yeah. say it enough. You never know who's yeah, fucking you listening. Mm-hmm. You just never know. I mean, backstage passes a game day. You know, shout out Dan. Like, Dan was a huge podcast listener. Like, mm-hmm. showing love on It's just like I've been in so many spots because of the podcast or Daily Fires or content because I just didn't know yeah. who was fucking listening to it. So, like, what – between? I mean, you've had, obviously, the most extensive career <laughs> in podcasting. It's and, been, like, and, fucking 10 years. Yeah, so, like <laughs> – well, Isn't that how, crazy? How, do, how does this compare to the to the other ones? We don't have to necessarily name yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, how does this one, like, set – you know, Well, I think out? they – what's interesting is they all have their – had their own, like, situation, right? If we go all the way back to the MP Nation podcast, mm-hmm. that's where I started. That's where I fi- first got these headphones right after the Barbell Shrug. Mm-hmm had some cool guests and it it was like me just kind of getting my feet wet and understanding like mild production on pot because I was into all of it right I wanted to understand like how to set everything up how to record it what we needed to do I knew I was early to it right and then you know moving to a with uh my initial one with Maurice which was like less produced but I think the quality content was really good Mm -hmm. and then going to business and biceps which was quality and good content and then that kind of falling apart and then moving to the roundtable podcast which I think is the most authentic and I'll tell you why it's because of the age group it's because uh, you know we got 20s mid 20s 30s 40s and because of all of our different um, likes dislikes talents interests like, I just think that there's not another panel that is this diverse and into this many different things and in this many different parts of life. That's why I think the value is so immense mm-hmm. long term. And that's why I already I thought that going in. But that's why I was like, let's get these reps on the app first. Then let's then we'll feel more comfortable when we go out and then adding Kyle in, you know, most recently in the last year to then capture everything on top of it and be here to chop it up like it was like one of those things that I knew early on it can be great if we'll give it some time. Mm-hmm. And now this is like one of the indicators, having a big sponsor like this and getting more listenership. And so they each have had their own place that they've they've played. But um, I'm the most excited about this. I'm always the most excited about the newest thing you're working on. Sure. But the reason yeah. why is like you guys are like my brothers. We've been in the trenches in these businesses for years. And now... I get just as excited to bring you guys out to the world. A lot of these motherfuckers have been listening to me, and we're going to get new people, right? But it's like I get this, the things I get to hear in these rooms, just me and the other guys we work with now, the whole world gets to hear. And I think that that's, like, really important. So that was my whole, like, you know, vibe around the evolution. Yeah. Pretty wild. Boom. Clip it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Let, me, let me drink this just the haze. Yeah. You got something to say, Cole? You look like you're, you're really thinking over that. I just can't believe how fucking great this beer is. <laughs> I'm really blown away. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. You know, I think this might be something I just, like, go to. Maybe well, like think about Sunday this. Or, well, how, how, would you, how would you program this? Like, what, Well, you, so here's the thing is, uh, I think you could literally just, like, drink it, like, with your lunch. Yeah. <laughs> or with your dinner. The best programming would be you're heavy in training. And you want to take part in some type of social event and you don't want to look like a fucking stiff. Mm, there you go. Yeah. The best move would be probably pour it in a glass. No oh, one's yeah. going to be able to tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to be able to, in if they try in the, it. Even in a, and they're not going to, yeah. Dude, that's yeah, my I mean, point. So fucking killer. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's why when I talked to Ryan from Sam Adams, I was like, he's like, excuse me, I'm drinking beer. He's like, he's like, yo, do you want to try the non-alcoholic? I'm like, you know, no disrespect to non-alcoholic, but when I drink, fucking, I'm ready to, like, get it, right? I'm at the tailgate. I'm drinking fucking <laughs> alcoholic beer because we only really drink on the weekends. But having a strategy for a lot of people have social mixers and these things mm-hmm. that they're struggling with because then they're demotivated the next day. They ain't trying to get up at 5 a.m. after they drank four beers at the fucking whatever, the mixer with their, you know, rotary Happy club or hour. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> right? So, I think this is a good answer. Um, having the Sam Adams and a lot of people love IPAs, so this is this right up the alley. So, no, it's good. Um, podcasting, podcast, anything else? Anything else you can add to that, Trey? You guys, no, nothing. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, uh, shit. This is brought to you by Max Effort and <clears throat> Samuel Adams beer. Small arm Sammy. Shout, shout out. out. Shout out Sam Adams. Cheers. Uh, last cheers. Appreciate you. Welcome to the podcast. I'm your boy Corey G. That's at Small Arms Danny. 
at Trey Speed and the graphic gangster himself. <laughs> we are out.